Well, greetings and salutations, everyone. Welcome back once again, or for the very first time, to the Farts and Crap Show, where today, as per usual, it's your host, Anjo, here with part 80. Oh, wow. The series is an octogenarian? I believe... That's the right term. Octogenarian is a term for something that is 80 years... It's typically a term for a person that is 80 years or older, but um, kind of the same running joke like when I get to part 40 of series and I'm like, oh, it's part 40. This series is a man. <laughs> that kind of thing. Um, or, you know, this uh it's part 21 toast come pie um anyway thank you all for being here really appreciate it. just being stupid here uh on this episode we're going through central irithyll gonna be showcasing a few more weapons that i haven't really used much yet in this uh in this series uh starting with the exile greatsword i believe i set it to be refined yes so it has B scaling on strength and dexterity. And uh, we're currently at 55. Hey, hey, hey. You're not supposed to step on the keyboard. You know that. Cat just like stepped right on the keyboard when she's usually careful to not step on the keyboard. Thankfully, I don't think she pressed any hotkeys, thankfully. So, yeah. Still, you know you're not supposed to do that. Not cool. Anyway. Um, but do, do so yeah. A few weapons out of the original selection that I haven't really used yet very much. Uh, Exile Greatsword. The Onikiri and Ubadachi, as well as the Splitleaf Greatsword. So, again, continuing my melee only run. And, oh wait, I should figure out how this actually works. Uh, strong attack. Okay, L2, R2. Gotcha. Oh, damn. Wait, did I just get. I think I got. Pontiff Knight Curved Sword with Frostblade. Ha! Ah, I freaking love this thing. Very cool weapon. Um, in the first playthrough, I was going to buy it from a... Oh my goodness, that just wrecks them. Uh, Grey Rat. Grey Rat. Dude. Fucking sick. One full weapon skill. Oh man, they got that is oh, mm, that is such a good look. Such a good look. Hmm. Man, that looks good. Damn. Uh, in case you guys want to, you know, try out this build or whatever, uh, Dancer's Crown, Iron Dragon Slayer set. Um. Dancer's Crown just kind of looks cool. It's got the flowy, like, semi-translucent veil thing going on. And for my build, I have to go with the Havel's Ring and Ring of Favor to stay under 70%. Uh, then, you know, Chloranthi Ring, Ring of Steel Protection to uh, increase defense and um, stamina regeneration. But yeah, Melee only is the name of the game. Just kidding, it's Dark Souls 3. <laughs> An item? Oh, no. There is another item around here, though. I'm trying to figure out where... I think it's over here on the right, like on a railing, right? Not back there. Oh, wait. Yeah, there we go. 
There we go. Just the good uh, soul items. I don't want to like pass them up, you know, but I just gotta say, like, Irithyll of the Boreal Valley, man, one of the best looking places in the game. Like, bar none. Ow. Ow. Man, that is such a good weapon skill. Yeah, these guys can be a problem. Ow. Oh, there's another one, that's why. Hello. Ah, damn it. Fucking hell. <laughs> Just kind of stood there. Oh shit, wrong one. Eh, it's fine, I can top it off. Okay, so the strong attack is just a vertical... Oh geez, he is on his way. Oh, that is so satisfying. Hmm. What was that supposed to do? Okay, I didn't know they could drop those. Oh, the running R1 is a horizontal slash, though. Oh, and the rolling R1 is a little different, too. Would go down there, but I th think it's just Doris is gnawing. Could be wrong, but... Whether I'm right, whether I'm wrong, whether there's something that I've doing, and not remembering the song, it's Dark Souls 3. <laughs> It's Dark Souls 3. Anyway. Uh, that's not the right way to go, is it? Not until I open the shortcut, which I haven't done. And... I think this is a free proof of a Concord kept, so... Oh, I see you were already dead. My apologies. I don't think Henry is here? No. Because I didn't talk to Henri before. I believe I have to go this way for now. Right? Yeah. Sounds right. Oh, and it's going to be very dark. Here in a minute, so I'm just gonna switch to the only weapon I have that's passive light source. Because, yeah, it's uh, very helpful. Just gonna go down here. Heading to a destination, little town we know. 
Every handout's two turntables and a microphone. That's no lump. Oh wait, wrong one. Uh, that's no lump. They are very weak to fire. And considering I don't need the light source anymore, but having a fire weapon would be nice. I'm gonna switch to the demon's great axe. Yeah. I was gonna say I might be overweight, but no, we're good. I mean, IRL, I might be overweight, but I don't know. I don't know. I was told to not care about such things. Okay. I mean, I guess we don't have to go fight Pontiff's full of blah, blah, blah right now. Um, but that's the way I usually play this game. And just for shits and giggles, I'm gonna get the fast travel point over here first. Because this is the way to the Irithyll dungeon, I believe. And therefore the Yorm boss fight. But there's a different Lord of Cinder that we are gonna go fight first, and that is Aldrich. But yeah, we actually don't have that much left of the game to go, just Aldrich and Yorm and, and the final boss fight. And I really forgot how long that takes. But you can just like chop, chop, chomp these guys. It is uh, pretty nice. But yeah, for how slow it is, I'm not entirely sure it's worth it. Especially when I get something like the Ring Knight Pair of Greatswords or the Twin Princess Greatsword, which honestly I've been a huge fan of so far. Like, look at this. Bam! Get fucked. But that is not the weapon we are showcasing right now. Refined Exile Greatsword. That's what we're doing. Although we are 13 minutes into the episode. Oh wow, Sigvert isn't even here. Oh, because I didn't help him. Right. Right, because I'm not doing any of the optional things. That's fair. Uh, do, do. All right. Just gonna go through here and not bother these fine gents. Because why would I do that? Whoops, that was early. That was painful. Not my booty hole. Oh shit, whoops. Damn it. There are dogs out here. Yeah, that... It's not that great. Now, there's some loot upstairs if I went back in there and got some of the stuff. I don't really care, personally. I'm gonna switch the uh, Onikiri and Ubidachi, though. Because this is going to be helpful here. And I think this is a single press weapon skill. Yeah. And L1 is the, yeah, two-handed. Oops. There we go. Alright. Who? Ow. Dude, can we just, whoa. Stop for a sec. Jeez. 
You know, I thought this would be like fucking really effective. Damn. Getting tossed. Fuck. Yeah, I thought that would be a lot better for dealing with those guys. People complain about the dogs in Elden Ring. I think they're actually worse in this game. To be real. gonna switch back to actually you know what just for I'd have to change my armor for that I'm not doing that right now all right because I really like my armor loadout it looks really good Yes, you will. Ah, damn it. There we go. Because of the point of impact uh, bonus. Any soup in here again? Oh, there is soup in here again. Cool. That makes me happy. I like soup. Soup, soup, soup. Um... Yeah, I guess next up is the split leaf. Right sword, which again is more of a halberd or a um, naginata. Oh, this guy does not respawn. Weird. Kind of thought he did. Now the exile great sword would probably be better here, to be real. And I might get invaded again, I don't know. Oh, damn. Oh, dude, that is sick. Okay, yeah, that is really good for dealing with those guys. What is it, running R1? Oh, it's just a stat thing. Oh, that's cool. So it's kind of the same running R2. Oh, jump slash. Of course it is. More dogs? You betcha. Fucking hell, dude. Just, wow. Oh cool, the controller's fully charged. Unplug that. Oh, and disconnected. Makes sense. There we go, all right. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is just kind of better for getting through this spot. Which, it might also be better against the other guys, but I don't know. I mean, it's kind of also about like how quickly can you start the weapon skill kind of thing. Mm. Fucking hell.
Come on. Ah, damn it. Ow. I think I launched that one into the ceiling. I didn't see it clearly. Although the rain is gone. Yeah, and the split leaf just kind of takes a minute to get going, so. I mean, not like a literal minute, you know what I mean? But. I'm just gonna go with the actually the wolf knight great sword might be better. I I used that one a bunch though already, didn't I? I feel like I did. Yeah, I think so. Um, yeah. So actually, hold on. What's the damage difference? Five ninety five sixty. Oh wow. So, Refined Exile Greatsword is stronger than the Cathedral? Huh. Strange. Alright. I mean, that's fine by me. This is a really dope weapon, but... The Cathedral Knight Greatsword has better range. And also a very good weapon skill. This will likely be better at dealing with those pesky doggos. Yep, so far I would say yes. Wait. Jeez. Believe that one's dead, yep. Uh, it's a little unwieldy, but yes, it does seem to be more effective. Ah, oh my goodness. Their ability to just, like, get behind you. And just dodge, like. And it is very effective, though. Oh my goodness, really? There. That is a shortcut right there, but it's not like the good shortcut, so... It's a mostly useless shortcut, honestly. I think, actually, you know, I haven't actually spent much of any time with the uh, Cathedral Greatsword. I'm gonna switch to that because A, it's badass, and B, Um, do I need a B for that? <laughs> also, just gonna go down here because this is like slightly safer. And just running in there. Slightly safer. But yeah, I very much enjoy the uh, weapon skill for this thing. Partially because, like I said before, with the super armor slash hyper armor thing, whatever you want to call it, um, the stomp abilities are great for that. Look at that. Oh, whoops. Do need stamina. Yeah, later.
Really? It is kind of slow, though. And the fact that, like, most of the two-handed things are, like... Oh, hello. Vertical? Not my favorite. Because, yeah, the swipe things... Like, sweep? I don't know why I call it swipe. Sweep attacks are much more effective. It's just less um, powerful. And this is the big shortcut I was saving time for. Anyway. Uh, we have two of each. That is terrible. Gonna go back to the bonfire real quick to heal up and also I will try the Onikiri and Ubadachi for the boss fight. I don't think it'll be very effective, but you know, how cool is that? <laughs> Alright. We're at 100k. Okay, hold on. I should really travel back to Firelink and sell some souls and just level up one more time. Seems like a smart idea. Because we need 135,000. 200 and something. Sure. Here we go. Sell. Uh, Wolnir, I don't give a fuck about him. 130... That'll do it, yep. Yeah. Huh. Let's see if we can get her to do the stutter step again. Which, by the way, rude. Put away the weapons. Why can I not talk to you? What's going on? Welcome home, Ashen One. Speak thine heart's desire. Oh, you didn't do the thing. Very well, then to take no. Alright, fine. Uh, 40 dexterity, I feel like, is pretty good. After this, I'm probably gonna start putting points into whatever quip load is, vitality. Yeah. So we can use, uh, you know, better armor with our heavier weapons. Preferably. Alright. Let's just check in to see how many souls were left over. Not very many. Alright, so Church of Yorshka. And, um... I'll make, like, one attempt at this boss and then we'll end the episode. Because, 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 yeah, it is, um, oh, I'm only at 58%. All right, yeah, let's put on some good armor. After all, I've been rocking this shit for a minute. I'm gonna rock down to Electric Avenue, and then we'll take it higher. Whoa, we're gonna rock. Um, yeah, Cathedral Knight is better in a lot of ways. Alright, let's do that, and then probably Millwood if we can. Silver Dancer. Winged Cathedral. Actually, do I have the Cathedral Knight leggings? Are they better? Uh, similar. The leggings, no. Gauntlets are definitely better. Holy crap. Big old difference. Um... Um, 
I could wear the Millwood helm. It is like a really good helmet. Just, you know, statistically. Um, so yeah, we can wear some really good armor here. Do I... Yeah, I forgot. That's part of the reason. You know what? No. It's good. Let's uh, do it to it. Don't think I can get any helpers for this one. But let's find out. Plus just having the extra HP. It's nice. But yeah, I don't know for sure. Oh, nice. Oof. You poor bastard. Oh, there's one. Got hard. I think the other one is typically Henri, but you gotta talk to Henri and do the things, and I haven't done that, so. Come on, dude. Make it. Oh, yeah, I made it through just fine. Cool. I'm gonna pre break some of these. Because the pews just get in the way. Yeah, that was not bad. <laughs> that went pretty well, actually. All things considered. None too shy. I, I really thought that was going to go much more poorly. Uh, there's a few other... Uh, Crystal Lizard doohickey guys out here that I wanted to take out before the end of the episode, and I'm trying to think what would be a good, probably Exile Greatsword, honestly, would be a good weapon. To, well, actually, Wolf Knight might 
do it in one shot with that somersault thing. Is it R2? Yeah. I do really love this weapon, though. One of the better ones in the game, in my book. Yep. Nope. Damn it. Although I believe they respawn, actually. I'm over 70%. Um... If you just go like this, pretty sure. And half a three four. Yeah, let me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I believe this old trick works, like in all the Souls games. Yep. Thank you. Mm, I can't remember if there's another one up there or not. Anyway, folks, um, yeah, that's going to do it for now. It's going to do it for this episode. On the next one, we will be heading to Aldrich of the Deep as well, I think. I believe that's part of his title or whatever. Um, for Aldrich, fire is decent. So, ooh, should I put the ring thing there? It's great, so red. Should I do that? Should I do the thing? Maybe? Should I? I don't know. Maybe. Um, yeah, that'd be sick. I don't really use a refined split leaf greatsword very much yet. You know what? We'll do, we'll try that first, purely because I haven't used it much at all. Um, go back to the millwood, and actually, do these gauntlets look out of place? Are they bad? Do they look bad? That's my point. No, nah, they look pretty cool. Looks pretty good. Um, also, Lothric Lap, who the f- Oh, yeah, 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 Patches when he lost his memory. Uh, Wilhelm, a little bit, but it is better, pretty much, in most every way. And it looks cooler in my book. Um, yeah, but can I take off the Ring of Favor for the Estus Ring? Like, what would I have to sacrifice for that? They're the exact same weight, wow. Mm, Wilhelm Fallen, nope. Pirate hat? No. Any helm? No, the brigand hood is the lightest one, so... Thrall hood, worker, ragged mask, white ground. Not gonna wear that. Baden Hood is pretty decent. Cleric hat for the weight is not bad, but it looks stupid. And Gunter Hood, Pyromancer Crown. Dusk Black Witch Veil, which has really good resistances, actually. Not as good as Cleric one, though. Witch hat, not bad. Sorcerer. I could wear the Shadow Mask. I think it's just kind of like a ninja mask kind of looking thing. Pretty much, yeah. Doesn't really fit our motif right now. Painting Guardian Hood? Also, yeah, it does not really fit the motif. Sorcerer Hood? Oh, that looks weird. Why does it look so weird? It's so tall. Like, much taller than their head. Sorcerer hat. That one's so tall too, what the hell? I 
That bad doesn't fit the motif at all, though. That seems like a really bad idea. Crown. I guess I could just wear the Pyromancer crown. Desert Pyromancer head? Oh, that actually looks decent. Uh, yeah, I mean, doesn't quite fit exactly. I guess just Pyromancer crown, maybe? It is kind of the most natural looking. And it's even got the little horn thing, kind of going with the millwood. Motif once again. Honestly, yeah, looks pretty good. It's pretty good. All right, so ring of steel protection, Chloranthi Havel's ring plus three, the split leaf, 68.6, .6. total equip load. Yeah, so not bad. Not bad, this'll work. And I just love the weapon skill on this thing. However, that default attack of just like vertical, eh. The strong attack is really cool, but running R2, not bad. Jumping slash, pretty good. Not jumping flash, that's a PS1 game. Um, the default R1, not that great. Default R2, not that great. Rolling R1, oh, that's not bad. Rolling R2, still the spin thing, okay. Okay, it's not bad. Um, oh, then it goes back into the normal, okay. How long can I... For a while, actually. That's pretty cool. Alright. Well, folks, that is probably going to do it for today. I just want to check one other dealy bop real quick, because there's a similar weapon to the refined... Yeah, the Black Knight Glaive. Spinning on your limit during the overhand. Okay, so that's the same as the Lucerne, right? And Gundir's has the Champion's Charge, which is going to be very similar. And the Halberd, the Ring Knight, Spear does Ember? Short Life Flame is Joel Asmarath will carry on. Oh, all right, I think I did try that. Um, don't really use Spears that much. Dragon Slayer Spears, Lightning Charge, which is pretty cool. Uh, Saint Bident, sure you extend the length of the journey, doesn't really matter that much. Um, during Twin Spears, just as charge as well, Golden Ritual. Uh, what is the one? I guess Gundir's Helmer, right? I was thinking, oh, the Ring Knight Spear, there we go. This is also the Ring City, uh, one of the Ring City weapons. So there's no other, nope, oh, it's just L2. That's kind of cool. And then it like, wait, is that just the default R2? Yes, it is. That is a fucking sick ass sweep. Oh, dude. Oh, and it stays like that? Ooh. Okay. So that's not a special. It just goes directly to the second thing. doesn't really transition. Ah, oh, that is pretty cool though. That's pretty sick. It's not one that I'm gonna use right now though. 
Um, organize. Melee weapons. Ring Knight Spear. Put it back in the box. Okay, cool. All right. Well, folks. Oh, that is going to do it for today. Thank you very much for being here. Greatly appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoyed. I definitely need a bathroom break anyway, so it's good that we are out of time. But, um, of course, before we get going. A very special thank you going out to the current Farts and Crap Show members, which at the time of recording is Novellus Draconis. But if you want to be incredibly awesome, support the show and more directly and get in on all those membership benefits like Novellus Draconis does, then check out the join button down below. Tier start at three bucks a month. That's only 10 cents a day. Gets you into all the basic stuff, including getting to vote on the series that get made here on this channel. I'm not sure what day this one is coming out. But if it is coming out before um, or on June 18th, we do have a member's choice poll ending. Actually, two member's choice polls ending at the end of the day on the 16th. So as long as you guys get a membership and um, hit up that poll before the 19th hits, you can vote on the next series that is going to be made here on this channel. Two of them, actually. So, um, yeah, we will probably have another one in July, but we had three so far in June. So it's just how the series happened to line up. But I really got to go urinate, so I'm going to go. But until next time, everybody, take care, and I hope you all have a beautiful day.